Good evening. Καλησπέρα σα. Welcome to our show Faces. New face tonight with us. It's shall I say your name and let me know if it's wrong. I mean, okay. is it Arleth Christina? It's correct. Correct, yes. Yes. And you are from Spain? No. no. Uh, my parents moved to Spain and uh, however I am originally from Colombia, from Columbia, Cartagena. Yes. Okay. A beautiful city. You born there, yes? I was born in Cartagena, yes. And you moved to Spain and then England? No, Give us uh, a little bit more information about your, uh, you know, background. Well, I, um, I've been living in England for at least uh, 30 years. 30? Yes. Okay. So, I, my uh, niece uh, was in a, in a beauty competition. Oh. So, oh, sorry, I, they, they used sort of kind of like, it's not, shall we say, it's not my niece, it's my cousin. Your cousin? Yes. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I was in a beauty competition and she... Um, she won a competition? She won the competition oh. and they gave her a state in the UK and so she introduced me to the UK like How that. How long ago it was that? Uh, 30 years ago. Ah, what's her name? I might be remember her. Veronica. Because <laughs> Veronica, you see, I remember Veronica when she won, yes. Is she okay now? <laughs> she's gorgeous, yes, she's fine. Yes, beautiful, yeah. okay, that's nice. And then what's happened? You moved with her? Uh, no, England. she gave me, so she said to me, it's a lovely place to come. She gave me some contacts because I wanted to kind of come to study. Uh -huh. So okay. I came, I came to St. Thomas's Hospital. Mm -hmm. I managed to study orthopedic uh, physiotherapy. Okay. Uh, we were one of the best uh, people at the time, Dr. Syriax and his wife, Patricia. Mm -hmm. And... Um, from then on, I started to work in the NHS. Okay. I worked in the NHS for at least 18 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the same time, I had my own practice, uh, which um, has been fantastic. Mm -hmm. you still um, uh, going on, yes? Yes, still going on. And you told me earlier on, you say you have uh, four or five, how many places? I had uh, five clinics in the mm -hmm. southeast of England. Uh, however, currently we are um, uh, restructuring the company uh, because I was doing basically traditional physiotherapy okay. in which the client comes and you treat them and you have one, two treatments uh, and then you don't see the client anymore. But What I'm is traditional therapy actually? I mean, Something like people come from neck pain, back uh -huh, pain, uh -huh. shoulder pain. And you deal with that little part of the body. And you deal uh, and through exercises? or Yeah, you do manual therapy, mm -hmm. which is uh, moving, moving the joints. Mm -hmm. You do um, exercises, you advise them. You perhaps use electrotherapy, mm -hmm. use acupuncture. I use acupuncture a lot for at least mm -hmm. 20 years. Never use medicine? Medicine, yeah. uh, we, di we are autonomous, so that means that we actually um, examine the client uh -huh. and we look at psychological aspect, the physiological side of it. Mm -hmm. If at some point you find that somebody has got a medical condition, a reason to go to the doctor okay. for, say, cancer that you suspect, uh, we call it red flags. Mm -hmm. So then you actually send the client to the doctor um, to, for, to be assessed. If you find that the client is not moving as they should be moving, mm -hmm. perhaps you're looking into kind of Parkinson. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. So all that kind of thing. So we see the client as a whole. And um, I also took a diploma in injection therapy. And I used to teach the doctors the GPs who go to around the surgeries and to um, teach them how to inject a joint, the, sh the hand, the shoulder, mm -hmm. the knee. Uh, yes. And I did that with one of the orthopedic consultants. So the two together, we were going around mm -hmm. the doctor's surgery. Because the GPs sometimes um, don't have that... Um, they are not trained. To, to train to do yes. joint injection. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So but we, we okay. do that. So you uh, sometimes you invite it to do to do it your own and sometimes you show them how to do it. Yes, both of them. Yeah. Sometimes they even just call the, the doctor and they say, oh, Christina, come along and show mm -hmm. me how to inject a, 
the mm -hmm. sort of a, a hand for a carpal tunnel or for the queer vein or something okay. like that. What are the usual um, you know, problems you face I mean, with people coming to you? Um, from head to toe, mm -hmm. anything could be. So you can have neck pain for different reasons, shoulder pain. Mm -hmm. I love shoulders and so is my speciality. You mean you love people to suffer so you can have something to do? Or? I like to see people better. Yeah, so, okay. and if anybody is suffering, as I said to in one of my leaflets here, I don't want to people to suffer in silence. Mm -hmm. I like for them to actually to come and, uh, to yeah, come join you and, and kind of do yeah. not um, uh, kind of uh, if you you suffering sometimes and you don't realize that you with one or two treatment you can get better you know very yeah. quickly mm -hmm. but what is kind of recently in my mind is that um, uh, we have got a population that is growing older I think they are estimating that we can actually live around about 87 years now and I thought we need to reach that age healthy. So I want to create a program mm -hmm. that will look at the person holistically so that kind of uh, will see the physio physical aspect, psychological aspect. What are you eating as well? Because it's like putting, if you are putting diesel in a petrol car, you know, you need to actually look after what you're eating because mm -hmm. I can say to you, please do all these exercises. And you don't look after your. Uh, and you are not looking uh, after you know, your uh, diet. Your diet, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. You so, have I would like to see the people holistically. So, in that in that case, and also, it has been shown that 19 minutes of exercise a day will be good enough to maintain your sort of health, mm -hmm. self-esteem, your mood. You know, all your psychological and physical aspect will be targeted, and you will be living longer. Is it any time in a day, or is it a any time, time? Any time. And I just kind of, uh, I just said to people, uh, why do you don't do it? And they said to me, time, mm -hmm. my work. Uh, I like, I like to have somebody to motivate me. I said, so, well. Uh, Perhaps I could create something in which I can assess you and I go and find what is wrong with you. And if I don't find anything wrong, give you something that to target you and maintain you healthy. Mm -hmm. And then I will send somebody, a physiotherapy assistant, to check you daily. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the three months, I will say, right, let's look at you. How were you at the beginning? The How you were at the end? Yes. The mm -hmm. development. Yeah. Uh, because uh, even young people said to me, I haven't got time and sometimes I haven't got the motivation. Also, the other thing worrying is that there is an awful lot of people who, who live on their own. And I thought bringing that person in will give that little bit of highlight to your day and mm -hmm. say, how are you today? Kind of, uh, can yeah. we see how, mm -hmm. how we can help you? Mm -hmm. So uh, I just kind of, that is what I'm actually focusing at the moment, trying to develop that. Yes, and um, you have some, um, you know, uh, clips on a website. So can we go and see one of these clips? Of just course. to see what exactly, you know, happened with the... With my you know, clients, with yes. your clients, yes. yes. Okay, yes. and then we come back again. Lovely, thank Let's you. Let's go and see this uh, clip, please. Thank you very much. I've been suffering from terrible hip pain and, you know, had tr problems walking and putting my shoes and socks on and getting dressed, etc. And uh, I went to my GP who sent me for x-rays and he informed me that both hips were worn and that I would need hip replacements. In the meantime, my physiotherapist at Harleth Health had uh, had recommended exercises which were supervised daily and um, within three days I started to feel the benefit and I was able to discontinue um, the strong painkillers that I'd been given and um, from that day 
I've gradually got better and better and now I'm, I'm almost uh, back to how I used to be. I can work on the farm again, cut the grass, drive my tractor and the greatest thing of all is that the pain has gone away. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we get an idea what's happening with you know the results. Okay. Yes. Yes. Now, tell me about. Uh, I mean, how can anyone uh, get in touch with you? And uh, you know, I mean, is, uh, is it taking a long time to uh, get over or um, to uh, heal their problem or whatever? No. How, how is how is this working? Um, no, actually, I. Um, how do you get um, get in touch with me? Will be through. The website is my name, Arleth, mm -hmm. Alfa Romeo Lima, Eco Tango Hotel, health.co.uk. And um, you, you've got in there sort of um, all the testimonials. And uh, I've got two practices in Potas Bar. And well, basically, um, the clients come to me. I had um, clients that do get they improve dramatically, as you can see from the testimonials, and um, within three sessions. But what I'm trying to say to people is that you need to maintain your exercise regime. It's not something that you do today because you are in pain. You need to maintain it for good. So currently, one of my clients, as you see probably uh, in the website, is from Germany. He is. 67 and he just recently took his sailing boat from Spain all the way to South America to Cartagena mm -hmm. to where I was born he's got his sailing boat there now I'm not expecting everybody to take a sailing boat from Spain to South America and crossing the Atlantic but I would like to keep people healthy to that level you'll see him cycling and I just think, gosh, you know, it's fantastic to be able to have people aged 70, 80 looking good. And, I, and that is my aim. And I just think if we can do something about it, it will be just beautiful. So in other words, you suggest, uh, you know, to be healthy is uh, two things actually they have to take care of. Is there, um, you know, uh, diet, what they eat? and exercising. Is that okay? Yes, yeah. um, but um, there is one thing that we all say, we need to actually see how we look at ourselves. What do you want to get out of life? How would you like to see yourself in 10 years time, mm -hmm. in 20 years time? Um, so you have to program? It's kind of, it's a case of looking at the way how you actually perceive your health, mm -hmm. your well-being. So you've got the psychological aspect. We will, if we find that you need a psychologist, a cognitive behavioral therapist, I will point you into that direction. Uh, if the person maybe needs an occupational therapist because we found somebody in the home that maybe is using an aid, I will again point you into that direction. But by having an assessment, I will try to get the best out of you and try to actually look at long-term goals. What do you want to actually achieve? Um, mm -hmm. But the best is to, as, as I said, to keep fit and healthy and to prevent problems. Sometimes we just get problems because we are sitting wrong at the computer. Mm. I had a client who is a banker, by staying sitting at his desk for hours, he ended up having an impingement of his hip, mm. so he had an operation. And he's a man who is 47, so uh, that is kind of amazing that I said to you, well, we need to target the population, we need to target people and to give them the knowledge to look after themselves and to keep themselves fit and healthy. So from the age of 40 to the age of 90, you are well. 
So uh, it's not the case of... Um, yeah. So I suggest the best thing to do to uh, find these people and to inform them before they get to the stage when they're going to need you to, uh, you know, uh, uh, give them your services, is to write a book. <laughs> yes. Are you planning to write a book? Well, that could be something that we could look into. Uh, yes, I mean, if you write a book and you sell it and uh, promote it, people will get it, read it, and find out why they, I mean, uh, the, the people are coming to the stage when they need you, for example, or they need somebody to heal their, um, uh, you know, uh, to, to sort their problems the out. The limitation, the restrictions. Yeah. yeah, sometimes it's an awful lot of uh, how we look at life, isn't it? You kind of sometimes put money before your health. And I talk about your work before your health. And it should be a balance. It's it everything before uh, something else. I mean, it's everything <laughs> before, you know, you get uh, uh, worse. You know, if you think about it, and before you get um, upset. You need to prevent yeah, it. You have to prepare it. yourself. You yeah. know? So this is, uh, I mean, the most important thing for people is to get the information. So for you to... Um, uh, you know, have uh, success, uh, more success, I think, is to prevent people from having their problems by writing a book and, uh, you know, publish it. And then the ones that are not listening to you, they're going to come to you and uh, heal them. Yeah, I very much would like uh, the promotion of this, somehow yeah. to spread, spread the good word, spread the, they've been fit and well. And, um, however, um, as um, I try to reach by any kind of um, media, um, all, the, uh, all the people out there, um, it's so, so important that you look after yourself, that you keep happy, that you keep well, and, and um, anything that I could do to facilitate this would be fantastic. Do you have any um, other people working with you? You know? Because yes. you say you have four um, clinics. Uh, clinics, yes. I, the clinics, as I said, are we restructuring the company. And at the moment, I only have the two in Potos Bar. However, all, my, all the physiotherapists who work with me are asking me to go ahead and to uh, open these branches in other places, in Birmingham, mm. uh, in the southeast. And I said to him, yes, let's start with a pilot sort of um, company mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then we can actually implement this everywhere else. Good. Yes. Yeah. So, so these are your plans, yes? These are, these are the plans who are actually working right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. So okay. Um, in this case, if you want people to get in touch with you, you can always mention your work. Website, website again, and uh, you uh, can always give a telephone number, it's no problem. Yes, my telephone is 01707 246 400. And your website? Yeah, the website is my name, Arleth Alfa Romeo Lima Eco Tango Hotel hyphen health dot co dot uk. And I repeat my telephone 07748. Oh, sorry, that's my mobile. <laughs> 01707 246 400. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much uh, for uh, giving us all the information. And uh, I already get some, uh, you know, ideas how to be healthy. I mean, by uh, not going into the stage when I'm going to need someone to uh, heal my, um, you know, uh, problems, my yeah pain and all this kind of thing. So uh, do you think smile, I mean smiling to people, give them, uh, you know, uh, more, uh, you know, to think about being relaxed and all this kind of thing? Oh, very much. Uh, and then again, uh, kind of think about something beautiful every day. Do something good every day. Yeah, I'm going to think about you all the time. <laughs> so I can feel, you know, nice and, you know, comfortable, yes? <laughs> You yes. have a good image in your head, yes. Yes, lovely, beautiful, thank you. You're welcome. It's been nice to have you in our show. Thank okay. you And so I wish you all the best for the uh, future. And um, hope to see you soon when you have uh, news, when you develop, uh, you know, uh, 
uh, new um, you know uh, clinics when you have uh, decided what you're going to do you can always come back to us and talk to fantastic. us again fantastic thank you so much for your kindness okay. and your help thank, thank you. you very much thank, thank you. you that's it this is it uh, thank you very much for um, you know uh, being with us uh, tonight i hope you get uh, the message till next uh, sunday same time same place with a new face or faces take care of yourselves good night Thank you.